it just brings to mind what David would say oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercies endureth forever and Miriam said sing ye to the Lord for he hath triumphed gloriously hallelujah the horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea those hands together raise those hands whatever you need to do right now give the Lord glory give him praise hallelujah for he is worthy to be praised there is none like unto our God the Lord is the Lord is my shepherd the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want we want to thank God thank God right where you are it's a moment of praise it's a moment of release of worship to the God that woke you up this morning when you couldn't eat food day and night but God but God the Lord is your shepherd he is my shepherd he is my shepherd I want to thank God God bless you sister Nikki God bless you we feel the presence of God in the house hallelujah uh, the, the Lord is here he's in the midst of our worship and as we acknowledge him he will do great and mighty and wonderful things I've just come to to close off I've just come to just finish uh, the word for today there's a few things that we have to acknowledge but I want to thank God for that song that song that was written so many years ago by our very gifted our very own pastor Verona Crossfield we want to thank God uh, for uh, when the Holy Spirit downloaded that song. It's not some one of the songs that we've heard for a very long time, but I thank God that Sister Nikki found it in her heart to sing this song today. And I pray that you would be encouraged. And let me say this, I have been encouraged by this song and I don't know if um, any of my family is listening in terms of the Thomas family uh, but I want to acknowledge them at this moment and it this really leads into my message and it's really a word of encouragement to Bishop Thomas from Chalvi Faith Temple in Chalvi overseer Tony Thomas my cousin uh, Winsome and Ken and Dawn we lost our mum, my aunt, on Tuesday. And I was in a bit of a struggle in terms of what was happening in life because for this week that we've just left, it was a mixed bag, a mixed bag of ups and downs and highs and lows. And on Wednesday, as we heard on the Zoom meeting on Wednesday, Prior to Wednesday, on Tuesday, I was celebrating, having a pre-celebration for my wife's birthday, Pastor Verona, and for our 31st wedding anniversary, which would have been, which was on, sorry, Wednesday. Um, so that's the day after Tuesday, when I received the word and the message that my aunt had passed, I received that on the Tuesday. And... The mixed bag is this, that in the midst of trying to celebrate the birthday and the anniversary, which was to be on the Wednesday, I hear this news that my aunt, so precious to me, Missionary Thomas, had passed away. And I want to take this time to honor uh, a great lady of God, a wonderful lady in the kingdom. She loved God. She served God. She loved people. She was a grandmother to our four children and she just had a heart of giving 
and I want to thank God for the life that she lived. Her door was open to everyone and even as you would know I would say above all uh, she was a great cook. She was a great cook. She could cook up a meal um, and she would just serve every and anybody. I want to acknowledge her today, the life that she lived and acknowledge the Thomas family and ask that God would strengthen them at this time. When we have generals who have served in this country for years, we need to honor them. And I honor the life of missionary Thomas. She will be dearly missed. And so I'm just bringing an encouragement to anybody here who understands what I'm saying, the the, the feelings that I've experienced during this week and I want to give a word of encouragement not only to yourself but to myself to the Thomas family as well and if we could turn our Bibles to Exodus chapter 15 I'm gonna be real quick here we're gonna read the Word of God Exodus chapter 15 from verse 22 says so Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea and they went out into the wilderness of Shur and they went out into the wilderness of Shur and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water and when they came to Marah they could not drink of the waters of Marah for they were bitter Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them and said if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and wilt do that which is right in the in his sight and wilt give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healeth thee. And they came to Elim, where were twelve wells of water and three score and ten palm trees, and they encamped there by the waters. The word that I want to leave with you today in these last few moments is the Lord who heals. The Lord who heals. Let's make that a declaration in our hearts, in our lives, in our minds. The Lord who heals. Say it with me. I can't hear you. I can't see you. But I know that you are there. Just like God. I can't, I can't see him. But I, I know he's there. But say it with me. The Lord who heals. And prior to Exodus chapter 15, what we understand and recognize in Exodus 14 is that God has brought the children of Israel, he's brought them out of Egypt and he's taken them through the Red Sea. Anytime that you are facing a Red Sea, God makes a way like he did for the children of Israel. Your Red Sea will be in front of you the Egyptian army will be behind you. I don't know how you can relate this to your life right now, but whatever the enemy is doing in terms of pursuing your life, I want to say that God will make a way when it seems impossible. And so the Bible tells us that they were going through the Red Sea. Listen, when they came out of coming from the Red Sea, they made a, 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 a declaration, they, they, they made it up in their minds that they were going to celebrate, that's it, they were going to celebrate what God did. And as they came from their Red Sea, they celebrated the God who caused them to walk on dry land. That's the God that we serve. They celebrated the God that 
gave them light while they were going through their Red Sea. They celebrated the God who kept their enemy in darkness while the same God kept them in light. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They celebrated the God who caused the enemy to drown in the Red Sea. Moses even declared, the enemy that you see today, you shall see them no more. Hallelujah. My God. And when they came from the Red Sea experience, the Bible says that Moses and the children of Israel, they sang on to the Lord. The Bible says that they said that the Lord is my strength and my song. He is become my salvation. I can imagine them all as a nation just declaring the word of God. He is my God, they said, and I will prepare him a habitation. My Father's God, I will exalt him. They said in their song that the Lord is a man of war and the Lord is his name. If you can relate to anything that's being said right now, when you get a time of celebrating, when you look back on where you've been and where you've come from and you can celebrate the goodness of Jesus, you should have been drowned in that Red Sea but God made a way for you that you walk through on dry land. You need to come with me in the spirit and know what I'm saying. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says further down in their celebration, they sang this song. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee? They said glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders they said you stretch out your right hand the earth swallowed them they sang a song of victory they sang a song of deliverance and it's great that we can sing songs of victory and songs of deliverance the bible goes further down to say that miriam she took her timbrel and she began to beat that timbrel and she began to dance with the rest of the ladies that were with her i it just brings to mind what david would say oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercies endureth forever and Miriam said sing ye to the Lord for he hath triumphed gloriously hallelujah the horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea and so this is a time of celebration. This is a time of giving words of worship and exaltation to a God that is so awesome and so wonderful. So we celebrate. But when it comes to mind, how can one time we be celebrating and in the same breath, almost as it were, we can be in a place of distress? Shortly after Miriam dances and, 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 and plays her timbrel, the Bible says that Moses and the children of Israel were in the wilderness of Shur for three days with no water. We've just celebrated the victory of the Red Sea, how we overcame the Red Sea, but, but now we're, we're in a wilderness for three days and we have no water. So life is a mixed bag of celebrate, celebration, celebrating, and then in, a, in, in a, the next breath, wondering where God is and so we see through the word that the Bible says they came to the place called Mara and they found water could you imagine the jubilation the joy that was in their heart and in their life to know that after three days they could find water however the water that they found could not be drunk because it was so bitter the name Mara means bitter. The waters were so bitter. So they celebrated, but now they're in distress. They're going through a time where they could even ask the question, where is God in all of this? I was celebrating Pastor Verona's birthday, our anniversary. 
But while celebrating, the news came that my aunt passed away. Someone who I loved dearly and was close to. But here's the word for you as God gives to me. The Bible says, and look at what the Bible says. The Bible says that the people murmured to Moses. What did Moses do? The Moses then turned to the Lord. When people are around you and complaining about this and the other, if there are any leaders out there, you just need to look to God. Look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the only one that can give us the answers. I don't have the answers. I don't even understand what is going on in our world today right now. I can't give you an explanation, but what I can do is look to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help, my help, your help, our help comes from the Lord which made heaven and the earth. The Bible says that he cried on to the Lord. And this is what I want you to gather and get in this last moment. That the Lord showed him a tree. In the midst of your bitterness, in the midst of your bitter experience I'm asking God to show you right now when tears are in your eyes because you've lost a loved one and your heart is pained and, and you're feeling bitter and angry and guilt and all kinds of stuff is going through your mind I'm asking that the Lord will show you something to turn that bitterness into something that will be sweet in the name of Jesus. Don't hold on to the bitterness that you are going through. Don't hold on to the anger that you are experiencing right now. Tears, yes, they are a language that God understands. I pray that while you are going, as God has showed me, I pray that he will show you right now. He will show, as he showed Moses, he will show you something. He will give you a word. He will give you a song. Sister Nikki sang from her heart today, the Lord is my shepherd. While you are going through this week, I pray that song will resonate in your spirit, man, and let you know that God has showed you how he's going to take you through this. Don't be bitter. Don't stay in bitterness. But the Lord, I pray the Lord will show you something give you something to turn that bitter experience into something that is sweet may I remind you that we are in this thing called life and we will have a time of celebration but be aware that there may be something around the corner that will challenge your faith that will challenge what you believe but God is still God and I pray that he will show you like he showed Moses a tree he will show you he will give you a word he will give you a song he will show you a sign that that bitter experience he's turning it into something sweet if you want to praise God with me just go ahead and praise him right now that's it the message is done the message is through somebody say with me the Lord who heals and that's what the Bible says at the very end it said here in verse 26 the Bible speaks uh, and he says and and said if thou will diligently now God is going into a uh, into a covenant with them if you will hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healeth thee somebody said that he is Jehovah Rapha I pray that he brings healing to your situation right now I pray that he brings comfort in your life let's pray father in the name of Jesus we thank you and we praise you because you are an awesome and a mighty God there is none that is above you thank you for your word I pray that if somebody is going through a bitter experience, they will know that there is a God that heals them. Yes. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing right now in the name of Jesus. You heal even our soul's diseases, the songwriter said. There is a balm in Gilead who heals the soul. There's healing for your sorrow. There's healing for your soul. 
We thank you, Lord. I pray if there is anybody there that does not know you as their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray that they will come to know you as God, that they will surrender their life to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. If there's anybody out there who is not saved, you do not know who Jesus Christ is, please get in touch with us. You can go onto our website. We would be more than willing to have a conversation with you. Get, get in touch with us through our website and we will continue to nurture anyone who desires to know who Jesus Christ is, especially in this time. Say with me, the Lord who heals. The Lord who heals. Make that a declaration as you go through this week. I'm coming off the mic shortly, but I want to thank God for everything that's been already said and done. If you want to give into the ministry as well, uh, we'd be more than happy to receive that as we continue to try and proclaim the gospel through the media streams that we have. Thank God for the media team uh, doing such a great work. Please support us in whatever way that you can. Thank you for watching our service today. We hope and pray you have been blessed by it. If you would like to give financially to our ministry, please go to www.freedomworshipcenter.org and press giving at FWC. Alternatively, you can give through our app. All links are in the description box below. Thank you.